what up though i want to come real quick you know what i mean real quick just want to make a little quick little video and uh i just want to talk about something real quick and uh, uh i had a talk with an elder of mine and um it just you know it, it brought something to my mind made me want to just speak about it and uh and we was talking about um, African history, basically. And, you know, uh, he knows African history. But while we was talking about African history, um, and, uh, you know, I was telling, we, we was talking about, and I made a comment about how, um, you know, how religions emerged out of Africa out of out of Africa and you know it's the birthplace of it and, you know and he was like yeah you know everything you know birthed out of Africa and he was like you know uh, even the Ethiopians uh, always stated that I forgot what he said but he was like you know uh, that you know they was the first people and, and Jesus was their God and I was like I didn't comment on it because I, I didn't even want to go in you know and I was just like whoa <laughs> you know what I'm saying like what in the world and he also even tried to talk about how uh, black people was cursed by God he actually uh, this uh, this person actually believes this and I was just thought about it like damn um, you know this is uh, this is what the religion this is what this is what this religion is doing to our people to uh where they actually believe that they're cursed by god you understand what i'm saying and it's like you know wow and sometimes being that you know certain things and being that it might been a long time that you might have came out of a certain particular uh religion or or whatever it may be you actually forget you know, sometimes you might actually, it might be a, a point in time where you might forget that, you know, people actually believe this. You know, it's crazy to me that, that black people actually think that they're cursed by God. You understand what I'm saying? Like, how could you love yourself if your God don't even love you? You know what I'm saying? If your God ain't even got no love for you, how could you even have any type of love or respect for yourself if your God don't even have it? You understand what I'm saying so you know um, so I think it's very um, a, a, a very vital situation that uh, you know our people is uh, caught up in this belief um, that God actually cursed them as a people you know um, and what I would say to that, um, in response to that, would be that the people that came up with uh, that doctrine and that story were anti-African people. Um, you know, basically, in a roundabout way, that's just what it is. They was anti-African, you know, and... And that's the teaching that they want to teach upon their people. That these people are cursed by God. You know what I mean? Nobody in their right mind will say that their own people are cursed by God. Who would say that? Anybody in their right mind will believe that themselves and their people are God's chosen people. So, black people are um, descendants well, black people always believe that they descended, you know, from what you would call the heavens, the cosmos. And they always believe that the sun was the life bringer on the planet, which it is. So, you know, they always uh, pay respects to the sun because of its uh, life bringing, the life bringing energy that it brings to the planet. And as you know, uh, black people are the children of the sun. Okay, they are the children of the sun. 
and even the word Mason even the word Mason means children of the sun okay so all black people are Masons matter of fact the first Masons was black people okay so um, that's just one thing another thing I would like to touch on real quick before I go is um, we have a situation where uh, people is being taught that um, it was extraterrestrial involvement in dealing with um, the building of the pyramids or maybe some people just don't believe that uh, Africans I even heard a, a, a guy state that um, uh, Afro Asiatics built the pyramids that's even wrong um, that's even wrong uh, I don't really know about any Hyksos monuments that was constructed um, during the time that they actually came in and took uh, rulership inside of Kemet um, maybe they did build some monuments but not probably not none of the major monuments that's um, talked about I don't believe you know the main pyramids and the main temples that we hear about was all built by Africans um, and you know the whole idea that um, anybody else besides Africans building the pyramids is just another form of trying to take the way, uh, trying to take the credit away from the Africans at that time, who uh, brought forth those magnificent structures and monuments um, that can be duplicated to this day. As you all may know, uh, even a playing card couldn't even uh, fit in between uh, the blocks of the pyramids you know that's just mastery and to say that um, to even have the idea that uh, aliens constructed these monuments is just absolutely ludicrous because you have Imhotep okay you have Imhotep you can go study Imhotep who was a mastermind genius and you know if I'm not mistaken he um, he basically uh, constructed the step pyramid okay so you know um, I just wanted to touch on that whole H, H and aliens things you know I know it sounds inter interesting you know about the ancient aliens and our ancestors um, maybe being involved with the ancient aliens but you know you can't let these things uh, take the credit away from our ancestors and what they did you know because there's people out there who rather imagine that um, aliens constructed monuments that they never had proof of in their life maybe it'd be some been some people that uh, you know talk to aliens met some aliens but I never met nobody that, that you know fuck with aliens or nothing like that not to say there ain't no aliens out here um, you know, our ancestors uh, was very spiritual people, and you know, people get into us uh, uh, anything that's not of Earth can be an extraterrestrial. If anything come from anything that outside of this um, realm, you know. So, but you know, you can't take the credit away from uh, the genius of our ancestors. You know, going way too far out with the um, with the what ifs you know just because the Africans of the Nile Valley um, did something that even the uh, most genius people in the world today can't understand or figure it out it must be aliens sometimes you got to understand people are so arrogant that they don't believe that somebody can be more intelligent than themselves and just give the credit where the credit is due so you know that's all I want to talk about you know don't fall for the ancient aliens thing you know even the whole alien you know that stuff is even interesting to me but I have enough sense in my head to know that when credit is trying to be taken away from the Nile Valley Africans okay so that's all I want to talk about I'm out you know and um, Hotep, I, uh, you know.
already know. I'll be back with y'all real soon. Peace.